Kuna Whitmer, those are some uh, bloodshot eyes. Tell me about a kid coming out of uh, French Canada, open wheel, found a home for a little bit in World Challenge, but not so much. Career looking like might be something else. I get to call you champion now. Tell me about that. I mean, it's just uh, give me goosebumps as soon as you mention the word champion, and uh, you know, from head to toe, just these big goosebumps. Uh, it, it is quite a feeling. And to be honest, have, after having won two Canadian championships in uh, in lower lower levels, now being a North American champion or international champion, it's uh, it, it, there's there's nothing that comes close to it. I mean, we all as drivers fight so hard to be a champion at the end of the year, and uh, I have five of the best teammates in the paddock, five of the best drivers in the paddock that that helped me win this championship. And to be honest. My emotions are a bit mixed up as well because, oh, you know, Jonathan belongs beside me right here. So he, uh, he and I worked so hard all year long in a 93 car to, you know, to walk away with a seven-point lead after Texas, and then strategically we got split for this race. So it's it's tough. You know, I could be in the same boat as him right now, and he'd be champion. So as long as I guess somebody in the team wins it, and you know, we we work together as a team, and we lose as a team. Fair to say that while you are leaving the season as the champion two of you put in the work together to get to where you are. Uh, definitely. I mean, you know, either either one weekend he'd be setting up the car or I'd be setting up the car another weekend. We'd find mixed setups and, you know, hey, you take the start, I'll take the start, that kind of stuff. So very, very good camaraderie uh, between the two of us. Uh, great, great balance of driving. Uh, he's He definitely grounds me a lot <clears throat> when it comes to driving, so I'm a little more aggressive and he just calms everything down. So he's a, definitely a great teammate to have. Second full season for the SRT Motorsports Dodge Viper program. Came to within a whisker of winning the Manufacturer's Championship. Won, obviously, the Driver's Championship. No, you would like both, but for a young program, you still have to be satisfied. Absolutely. I mean, if you talk to, if you talk to upper management at SRT right now, they're just they're just jumping up and down. I mean, we we won a championship. I mean, ideally, we want to win them all, right? So as as a manufacturer, you want to win everything. But you know, in a second year program, you can't have everything you want. You can only try so hard. So hopefully, next year and a year is beyond that, we could we could prove to other other manufacturers in the paddock that yeah, we're we're here to be serious. We're still very serious. Okay, last question for you. So you've won this championship. You got tons of great crew on. Under the, uh, under the tent, you've got Bill Riley. Uh, if I'm them, I'm assuming you're buying them all Rolexes? <laughs> yeah, it's funny. That was the first word that came out as soon as we won the championship, right on the pit wall. Bill wanted a watch. <laughs> no, I mean, it's. I think I definitely owe it, owe it to the entire team. I got to take them out one night for dinner, that's for sure. They, uh, they worked so hard all year long, you know, 12, 14, 15 hour shifts a day sometimes between race weekends on a Saturday, on a Sunday. You know, they don't, they don't get to see their kids. It's, uh, it's really, it's really a, a heck of a commitment on their part. Uh, engineering staff as well. Uh, everybody that's involved in this program, everybody that makes the from the hero cards to you know polishing the tools in the paddock, everybody, everybody's involved, belongs to be, to be champion. And I, I don't look at myself as being just a champion right now. We're all champions.